What is up, Keller Williams agents? This is Sam Jackson, the Director of Innovation for the Georgia Legacy Group and your host of In Command with Sam. And today, uh, sticking with the theme of going virtual, I want to show you how to update within command both your buyer and your seller uh, presentations so that you can kind of edit uh, not only the tone but the verbiage so that you can go into more of a virtual presence. So I'm going to show you uh, how to get there, kind of what to do, and then uh, I highly encourage you to use the resources within KDB Connect and uh, the Pivot uh, Facebook group that we now have within Keller Williams, as well as the Command Your Conversion group on Facebook on the content to put in there. I'm not going to jump into that today, but more so how to edit. So um, what we're going to do is we're actually going to jump into designs within command. So I'm going to go over to this uh, pencil and easel uh, symbol. I don't know what you call this, but this is designs. And uh, this usually takes a second to load. So um, even though we are going into a virtual format, in theory, this would be a print material. So um, what I want you to know is that we're going to click on the, uh, the plus sign symbol here to click new. Uh, but we want to go to print in order to get this. I know this doesn't make sense that we're going virtual, uh, but that's just where this template lives within command. So click on print, go to next. And then you'll see all the different templates that we have within command. I'm going to show you how to quickly do these. Um, so perfect. You remembered where I was two seconds ago before I created this. Uh, but you will see uh, guides for the app, listings, and buyer. So when I click on buyer, um, I have neighborhood snaps, killer mortgage, and buyer presentation. Uh, these are booklets that are letter-based. So if I want to, I can click on them and I can edit them. Right now, we have two different versions. We have the classic, which is the white one. We have the modern, which is the black. So uh, take a look at these. They're both, like it says, 31 pages. Uh, take a look and see which one is more your style. But when you click on use and actually open this up, this is where it takes uh, a minute or two. This is where you'll begin to see all the different pages. So uh, if I scroll down through this, I can edit up all the information. So I can come in here and put the client name. Again, nothing changes. This is kind of normal for what we're doing. So click in this box, delete the information out. So Mr. Joe, last name Marconi. Uh, and then I can edit my information. Oh, good, good thing I saw that. Joe Marconi is the client. I have to swap out my imagery. So go to my images. The same way designs work with any others. Plop that down there. Oops. You can see that replace. We're good to go there. Head's chopped off. Let's fix that. And then we'll be good to go. Uh, again, I'd want to go through this page by page and edit my information. So right now, as a real estate agent, you probably have a little bit of downtime. This is a wonderful time to start working on your business when you're not in your business. So coming in and updating your, uh, your guide for virtual um, business co consultation is a great way to do this. So I'm just going to go through these pages. And I would literally go through page by page and go through this information. Oh, show all pages, here we go. And uh, apparently I'm having some connectivity issues. Uh, you should see all 31 pages here, but you wanna go through and update. Uh, not sure it's going on my internet right now, um, but that's how that would work. And then once you're done, you would download this and then share it with your uh, clients virtually. It would be important to share this when you do it as a PDF, not as a PNG or a JPEG, but as a PDF, and then click on start downloading. Now let me show you the um, listing presentation as well. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna click on the plus sign. I'm gonna to go to print, click next. And uh, a little bit further down, I have my, lead, I'm sorry, listings is above rather, listings and then listing presentation. So again, there are two. We have the modern and then we have the classic. So I think last time I did classic, we'll click on modern this time. Gonna edit these. So I'm gonna go through page by page and I wanna edit this. So here's the listing presentation, the instructions, same things before, swap this out for the particular client. And then when you get through some of these details like comparing properties, this is where these little subtle text boxes that you really, really want to edit the information to be mindful of um, the COVID-19 situation in right now. So um, when it says your needs comes first, I would maybe even just complete this page, uh, rip it off and, uh, or I mean, excuse me, not rip it off and duplicate, but copy and paste it 
and have your verbiage say something about your safety comes first and talk about all the things that you will do virtually like uh, virtually towing properties so that uh, we can narrow that decision so that they can only or should only have to tour one home. Uh, making sure that you have daily communication with them and really understanding pre-qualifying them or really, really digging deep to see what it is they're looking for. So you can find that perfect home. So they're not touring on average. I think we learned at Family Reunion like nine properties right now. We need to get that down to one before they submit an offer. So um, what, you're wanna, what you wanna do is just go through each of these pages and then page by page, look to see where you can implement and change your verbiage to be more about um, protecting your client uh, from a safety standpoint and how you uh, have turned your process into a ver excuse me a virtual process within KW Command or within the uh, the real estate world here. Uh, so hopefully that was helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions. As always, you can reach out and pull up your smartphone. Open up Kelly and tell her to find Sam Jackson. You can get my contact information. Uh, leave a comment section. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section below, either in YouTube or on KW Connect. And as always, if you like the um, the information that we're sharing, and I have really put my foot down on the gas and the content that we're going to push out during this COVID situation. If you want a notification that anytime we're updating info, turn on uh, your notifications. You can click on this button right here, uh, right above me. And if you want to see more videos on the YouTube channel, go ahead and click over here uh, to see another video that I posted. Uh, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and always stay in command. And right now, stay at home. Thank you.